In San Francisco, the mayor is defending her pilot program that includes arresting people for public drug use. She answered questions about the city's ongoing drug crisis at today's Board of Supervisors meeting. Her plan is facing some criticism from at least one supervisor, leading to a heated moment in today's session. Crown Force Gail Ong listened in. Gail joins us here in the studio with details. Gail. Well, Pam and Ken, the mayor appears at board meetings once a month to answer questions from supervisors. Today's session toward contentious between the mayor and one supervisor, especially about addressing drug use problems in the city. You may remember the conversation that was cut short from last month's meeting held outside at UN Plaza. We also need to change what's happening on our streets, particularly with regards to fentanyl. San Francisco Mayor London Breed addressing the city's ongoing drug crisis at the Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday. The mayor shared over the last week, police and sheriff deputies have worked in coordination to make arrests for people posing a danger to themselves or others and disrupting neighborhoods. Supervisor Dean Preston asked the mayor about her drug overdose prevention plan. Will your Department of Public Health issue an RFP for a Tenderloin Wellness Hub by June 30, 2023? Supervisor Preston referring to last year's controversial closure of the safe drug consumption site called the Tenderloin Center. The mayor says the facility wasn't serving its purpose, but only creating more problems. The challenges of what we've had to deal with with the federal government and other issues around legalities that could not only cost the people that we work with their license, but also could create an impact for us as a city. Just last month, board president Aaron Peskin asked the mayor if she would support an operation with several state and local agencies to shut down open air drug sites across the city in the next three months. That meeting held outside at UN Plaza because it is one of the city's hot spots for open air drug dealing and using. It was cut short after pushback from the public. The conversation continued at this month's Q&A session with the mayor. Will you follow your own Department of Public Health's advice? and end punitive policies specifically arresting and incarcerating drug users that increase fatal overdoses. The mayor defended the drug arrest, mentioning police arrested or cited 38 people on Monday under the intoxication detention program. I'm going to continue to make sure that we are providing treatment, providing compassionate care, but at the end of the day, when we need to make arrests because someone's breaking the law and need to be held accountable and can potentially be forced into treatment of services, I'm going to do so. And Board President Aaron Peskin wrote last month that all of these upcoming meetings with the mayor and city leaders will focus on addressing San Francisco's drug problems until they find a solution. Gail Ong, Cron for News. Gail, thank you.